Video 2.4, A Musical Puzzle. Here's the beginning of a G minor partimento from Cimarosa's notebook. Here's what he saw and played with his left hand. And it went on for many, many measures. There's an interesting part at the beginning, a cadence, and then a relatively boring part, followed by a cadence. Could the boring and interesting parts go together? In other words, could this section in blue be shifted over here and make proper two-voice counterpoint? Well, the answer is yes. And the reverse is also true. The first part, the interesting part, could go with the boring part. So it's a puzzle, kind of musical Legos that a child can play with. It's play for the child, but it's also teaching counterpoint. Here's the entire partimento, and I'll realize it for you as a kind of two-part invention. In other words, each hand of the player will only play one note at a time, so it's a simple realization, but it will solve the puzzle repeatedly. In other words, the boring part will always be matched with the interesting part and vice versa. It goes through several keys. There's G minor to begin with, then B flat major, C minor, E flat major, C minor, B flat major, and finally G major at the end. The bouncing ball will show where the interesting part is played. So to a 12-year-old Chimarosa, this could be uh, putting together a puzzle and having fun. But it meant that at the same time, he was building a foundation for advanced counterpoint that would serve him very well in the coming years. <laughs>